Hello, Wilmington. I'm Hanifa Shabazz, president of City Council. I hope that you all enjoyed your Labor Day weekend. School is back in session and we wish nothing but the best for all of Wilmington students from preschool to college. For those of you that missed it, on Saturday, August 24th, the city of Wilmington celebrated two major events. The Wilmington Neighborhood Conservatory Land Bank, in partnership with the Department of Real Estate and Housing, hosted its second homestead event with the full house of Wilmington residents who came to learn how they could become homeowners of one of the many vacant properties throughout the city for $1. Watch the September 12th broadcast of In Focus for more information. We also celebrated the reopening of Eden Park in South Bridge. The renovations to that park are beautiful. We, the members of City Council, couldn't be prouder. This project is a great example of what can happen when council is united and we work closely together to get things done. August marked the 400th anniversary of the arrival of the first Africans to the United States. We Africans were sold into slavery, thus launching the beginning slave trade in America. Our country has a rich but also tragic history. We cannot ever forget to remember our heritage. We must always remember where we came from so that we never ever return to the racial divide and atrocities of the past. Lastly, I want to provide an update on the vacant seven district city council seat. On August 26, 2019, the Committee of the Whole of Council voted to recommend that Wilmington attorney Christopher Johnson become the next seventh district council member. The full council will vote on the approval of the committee's recommendation on Thursday, September 5th. Remember, for all of your news and information related to the City Council and the happenings around Wilmington, continue tuning in to WITN22. Follow us on social media or visit our website at wilmingtoncitycouncil.com. Have a great week, Wilmington.